Each week, the San Jose Flea Market brings us stories of athletes overcoming adversity in their lives to succeed in school and in sports. In 2005, the South Bay was rocked by a horrific story. A young man, full of potential, was taken away far too soon. Four and a half years later, his father continues to carry on his legacy while coaching a sport which helped strengthen their bond. In the outskirts of Gilroy lies a sanctuary for Anchor Point Christian football coach Lavelle Casey Adams. This practice field is where Casey molds young men. It's also where these same young men help strengthen Casey's spirit, a spirit which every day is tested. I cry because uh, I have to have my moments. I tell my kids all the time, you know, you step up or step back. Which one you want to do? You need to step up and face what's going on in your life. Number three, senior J.R. Adams. In 2004, Casey's son J.R. led the Valley Christian football team to its third straight section title, was named the league MVP, and earned a full ride scholarship to play at Idaho State. When he was coming off the field, especially when he scored a touchdown, he would look at me and I'd look at him and I'd say, I see you, boy. And then uh, if he fumbled or something, you know, He'd be walking without looking at me, and I go, I see you, I still see you. Then, during spring break in 2005, the widely popular JR was robbed of the bright future he'd worked so hard for. On the last night of a week-long family vacation in Cancun, Mexico, he was waiting for a taxi with two close friends when a drunk driver swerved off the road and struck JR. I saw JR on the ground, you know, his shoes weren't on him, it was just... I mean, it's your worst nightmare. I grab him, I hold him, pick him up, and he's he's breathing, but he can't talk or anything. But I can, his heart's still going, he's breathing, and the medical guy is going, he's gone. He's gone. I'm telling you, he's, he's, I don't even know how he's breathing. And uh, so sure enough, he died right there in my arms. He took his last breath, and um, I'm... You know, you, 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 you're shocked. You're so shocked you don't think it's really happening. Before Casey could even begin to comprehend what just happened, he got a shocking first-hand look into Mexico's underground black market where bodies are stolen and their organs sold. The guys that work there have contacts to everybody who wants one. You know what I mean? And it was like, whew, all of a sudden, these people are here. This guy's telling me, you stay with his body. No matter what, no matter what anybody tells you, you stay with your son's body. Don't let it out of your sight. Casey and his wife Liz checked in daily at the morgue and filled out endless paperwork as they tried to get JR's body back into the U.S. I'm going, how is this man doing this? I mean, how is he functioning? Because quite honestly, Data had to bring me home on cargo too. I don't think I would have been able to get through what he went through. Finally, a week later, Casey's efforts paid off. The day he finally called me and said, on the phone, do you hear that noise in the background? And I said, yes, what is it? And he said, it's the airplane. He said, it's the engines. JR and I are on our way home. It was the worst time of my life. And the only time I got it back, though, is when I start coaching again. Let's go to work. One, two, three. Work! While Casey coaches numerous sports at AP, his passion for leading the eight-man football team is obvious. That's how you run that rock! Aggressive on the football field and off the field he's like a father. I could talk to him off the field about any type of issue that's going on in my life. He just brings up the best in all of us. He runs us a lot. Uh, he, he knows his football. So he's just a great coach all around. The Warriors are undefeated this year with seven wins. But for KC, it's about so much more. You know, character is built on that ride there and back. You know, character is built on that dinner. Characters are spent on those overnighters. For me, I don't feel like I deserve to be here but he explained to me that God forgives you. Now, when I think of Coach Casey, he's just a hero. We have a kid every season, football, basketball, at our house. You know, we're feeding, taking care of him. For the last four and a half years, Casey's eased his mind by talking to JR. Well, now the confident and humorous JR has something to say to Dad. We worked real hard and we accomplished our goals and now we're CCS champions and it feels great. For sure. Every summer, Casey and his brother Marlo Brinson put on a football camp for children ages 5 to 13. Marlo lost his son Miles to leukemia in 2001, and it's their way of honoring both sons. Very nice. I got to know JR uh, during his senior year. He had a great year and a, just, just a real tragedy. Yeah.